Hey guys, uh, this is our final project for EE3. We call it the Vendomatic 3000. I'm Craig Young. I'm Ruben Veramontes. And this is our presentation. So if you couldn't guess from the title, we, were, we created a vending machine. And these are the type of questions that we considered when implementing the design. Uh, so we were thinking like, what is it going to dispense? What kind of like different things could we dispense if we decided candy? Um, what kind of money can it take? Can it take quarters, dollars, nickels, pennies? Um, how does it know when we put enough credit in it so that it can dispense? And then the last thing, how will it dispense? How will it actually uh, move objects through some type of me mechanism to actually dispense the object? And then uh, finally, uh, what other features could we add onto the vending machine? So I'll talk about um, our overall project design now. We've got our coin slot slash detection system and that will basically take in the user's money and then tell um, tell the program, tell the project that um, you know money has been put in. We're going to have our candy dispensing system and that's going to be um, some uh, our, our physical mechanism for dispensing the actual candy and then we're going to have our logic system which decides um, you know when we put enough money and to tell everything else like how to run. So Here's how it works. So the user puts a quarter into our coin detection system, which consists of a coin slot. Then once that detects money, then that's going to tell the logic system that a coin has been put in, and the logic, uh, the logic system will add that coin to the total amount of money in the system. Then when enough money has been put in, the logic system tells the dispensing system when or to, uh, to start dispensing, and the dispensing system will dispense candy. All right, now let's actually talk about the implementation for the coin detection system. So the idea was we use a phototransistor and an LED, and the idea was we wanted to put them as close together as possible so that when we put a quarter through it, the phototransistor will be able to register the high versus low voltage drop. So the phototransistor, how it works, uh, the more light that you put onto it, the more easily the current runs through it, so current would increase when we put more light on it, and because of this, there's more of a voltage drop. And now with the LED, we want to use a constant LED light source. And the idea of how it works, when we increase, when we put a constant voltage across the LED and we increase it, the current doesn't uh, increase like a resistor linearly, it increases exponentially. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to talk about our physical candy dispensing mechanism. So this is our actual uh, dispensing mechanism here. You can see we've got our DC motor, and that's going to be attached in series with this 10 ohm white resistor which prevents too much current from flowing through the motor and damaging it. This is also in series with 5 volts from the DC power supply which powers the system and that's also in series with a transistor that acts basically as a switch. Um, so when the motor is activated this spindle spins which turns this coil with candy inside which works exactly like an actual vending machine and the coil moves the candy down until it drops off down the ramp and down this hole in the box to where the user will be uh, collecting the candy from. Um, so the, uh, the motor runs um, from a signal in LabVIEW which is our uh, logic system which will tell our dispensing system when to operate. Um, so as I mentioned our transistor in this uh, circuit acts as a switch and it blocks all current from flowing through the motor until there's a voltage on the base of the transistor. So here we have a graph of uh, base voltage versus current and initially when there's zero voltage on the base there's zero current flowing then as we just follow one of these lines we're going to see as voltage increases then current increases increases until we get to our steady state current right here which will power the motor. And then finally we have our logic system. So this is the brains of the operation and how our program knows how to operate. So we decided to use LabVIEW um, and this is our front panel for the vending machine which is our user interface. So the user is going to see this which displays the number of credits and a light to tell um, when the machine is actually going to be dispensing. So the user puts in a quarter, this credit count here, you can see zero there, it will go up to one and then two 
as the user puts in more money, and then finally when the user puts in the third quarter, then this will return to zero, the dispensing light will turn on, and the machine will actually dispense the candy. Um, so the logic system will take input from the coin detection system Ruben described, um, and when the coin detection system um, tells the logic system that a coin has been put in, it will up, uh, it'll add one to the count of the credit. And then finally, when there's enough money inside the machine, then the logic system will tell the candy dispensing system that you need to start dispensing now, and it will run the motor for 10 seconds to dispense candy and then stop. And then it will reset all the counts. And that's our project. Thanks for your time.